I am doing something I never thought I would do. And that is react to a Chantal video. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Jenna. I'm a former flight attendant turned travel agency owner and travel professional. We are reacting to a Chantal, aka Foodie Beauty video today. And I've been purely an observer to this girl world, G-O-R-L. A lot of my viewers are going to have no idea what this is. If you're wanting to go down this rabbit hole of girl world, let me know. I can connect you with who to start watching. I'm purely an observer of this internet phenomenon and in absolute no way want to get into the controversy that surrounds these people. But our girl, Chantal Foodie Booty is in Thailand or I think she's there. I don't know. I haven't seen the video yet. Like what? And I'm going to save you all the backstory but I had to jump on because I will be in Thailand in two months I cannot believe she has made it to Thailand before I have that is absolutely crazy to me as always her video is going to be linked in this video if you want to go ahead and watch it I will give you a warning now this is a deep rabbit hole with a lot of serious issues that goes on with this whole community so just be forewarned that being said they never disappoint for entertainment and um, that's for sure today just talking about the travel that's all we're doing with this i probably will never react to a chantal video again but i just i'm too excited for my own trip to thailand so i i have to watch this i'm so excited and i thought we'd throw it up here so let's go ahead and get started we are in thailand so i'm so And for those of you who have no idea who these people are, maybe be thankful for that. <laughs> but also to the viewers that kind of follow them, like this is pretty shocking because travel is not easy for this woman. So that's why I'm excited right now too, because this is just, this is crazy. That does look like a new Abaya and it does look nice. I like it. So there's editing. Okay, I'm sorry I'm pausing a lot, but 26 seconds in, and there is probably the best editing I've ever seen on any of her videos. So, okay. Just waiting to check in to hopefully to Doha and then everyone from Doha to Thailand. Inshallah. Yes. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I'm a little hot and sweaty from walking around. You know, I'm not in the best shape, but. For reference, they are a Muslim couple living in Kuwait. She uh, moved from Canada to be with him in Kuwait. So that was a whole big story in itself. But look at how there is nobody checking in in this airport. Like there's no line. That looks so beautiful to me because the airport that I go to is constantly busy. The, this is so nice. You'll be okay, inshallah. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna be checking in our luggage. I hope it will be not too long. Inshallah. We just made it through security. Not too many people here. Alhamdulillah. We're gonna find a drink of water somewhere. There's like nobody there. This must be a really late flight or early. So they asked for the passports and boarding pass to buy a water. Maybe because it's duty free. I don't know, maybe. This is kind of funny. <laughs> this is a clear indicator that they have not traveled international very often. But that is common if you are shopping within a duty-free area. They need your passport and boarding pass. To actually check someone out, they need to scan your boarding pass. So it's so common. But really, first time in my life, they require a boarding pass just via water. Very important water. Yeah. <laughs> but have, you've traveled All right, let's go to gate internationally yeah, before. Let's go. Couple. Okay, let's look at the airport. Looks really clean. So here we are, guys, waiting at the gate, and soon we're gonna be on the plane. So excited. 
this is again not to do with the travel but this is like one of their better travel videos honestly okay they they stepped it up just a little bit this is this is surprising to those of us that are viewers of their channel me too <laughs> hell yeah <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so it must have been really early morning because now it looks light out. Hi, baby. Hi. <laughs> we are heading to the plane now. Watch us have trouble. I would be sweating my butt off if I had to wear a Nabaya. Ooh, these seats look quite tight. Okay, like, is that shady for him to be like videotaping her struggling to get in? There's been, again, a little bit of backstory. This is so interesting as well. It's not just a, a couple traveling. She's been quite vocal since she started traveling internationally. She's taken like two flights to Kuwait and being quite vocal about plus size people getting um, an extra seat at no additional cost. There's been a lot of controversy just buying a second seat, not buying a second seat and all of that. So I'm, I'm just, I'm a little shocked that they did it, but maybe they're showing that she's proving that she can sit in one seat. I don't know. For me, that moment when you're like trying to slide in and get all your crap, I hate that moment. I hate boarding in general. Boarding sucks. I hate boarding. That's my least favorite part of maybe traveling in general. Like what he was recording her getting in there. That's literally like the worst moment of trying to get in quick, sit down, get all your luggage underneath and then fishing out the seatbelt, making sure you don't sit on it and like stab your butt. But I mean, they're doing it. She's doing it. So. We are on the smallest plane of life right now. I've seen smallest. Unfortunately, yes. Yeah. It's only going to be about an hour, it's but. an hour flight. These things are my best friend. Is it even open? Okay. Fans? Is open. <laughs> In case you got a yak. 737 Max. Personal wellness. And they're flying Qatar. Look guys how hard it is when you are tall. Look at him squished in the middle seat. There's no like room at all. <laughs> This is so my stance on the whole plus size person being able to get a second seat um, for no additional charge is hard for me to be on board because I think and I've personally seen tall people really struggle on flights when there there are no other options for them and they have to pay to upgrade. We are on hurricane watch so hopefully my power is just blinking kind of weird. Okay, I think we're okay. So he can't help that he's tall. I mean, some people can't maybe help that they're plus size and that's a whole other debate, but I really feel for tall people. I really do feel for tall people. I feel like maybe they should have extra space or if, if we're even going to have this conversation of someone plus size getting extra space, then tall people definitely deserve to be included in that conversation. For my love, it's okay. All right, we're on the runway. Window dirty. Like you can't help with the windows dirty. Okay, let's go. Three, two, one. Yalla. God. Eighty knots. Take off plane. I get it. Oh, no. <laughs> love when a plane takes off. Oh, I love that feeling. Wow, look at that. It's crazy. I have not been to the Middle East, so I've never seen this in person. Oh my god, my eardrums. Alright, so for a snack, we get a complimentary snack on this plane, so we have orange juice. Pita bread, warm. Okay, this is hummus here. Couscous and what about? Okay, I'm not gonna lie, like that actually looks pretty good. And for like, wait, this is their hour long flight? That's not bad to get like warm pita bread. And So is it 
Then it must have been the it must have been the evening. I'm so confused at what time it actually is. Oh god. Please don't fall. <laughs> this is like a lot of him recording her, okay. They must be on a bus in between concourses. Oh yeah, you can see it's like the uh, runway in the back. Let's go. Hi, babe. <laughs> it's okay. Hi, guys. We're excited. getting a ride to our gate. We're going to be late otherwise. Exactly. It's like now, and we still have a 20 minute walk to our gate, so we are taking a train. <laughs> Hello, guys. It's wonderful. Let's see the airport. I want to see the airport. Actually, this airport is so massive, so huge. Let me see the shots. First time in my life I see airports like this big. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Oh god, it's like too blurry. There's like nobody around. That's cool. This is the Doha airport. There's people. There they are. Nice it's little ride. It's so big that everyone's so spread out. And a nice one. Welcome it does look home. really clean too, though. See how far we would have had to walk? Oh my goodness. That's a lot. It's a huge one. Yes. Looks pretty standard. Lots of sculptures. That makes it nice. Monorail? They could have hopped on that, couldn't they? We still have to go to 24, so far. Welcome to the travel life. <laughs> yeah. I feel like, I don't know. Are they just like complaining about it? I'm so happy we're going on our first international trip together. Me too. <laughs> Ooh, that's cool. Sculptures. The person walking. <laughs> stores typical airport you know some greenery that's nice like that ceiling looks dope it looks like kind of like a, a little park area within the airport ice cream mm. okay we get it here okay it's time to get up yellow to Bangkok okay from Doha to Bangkok seven hours that's a long flight um that's a lot longer than I thought I don't know why my perception was off like it was gonna be like three hours um but definitely like over double that okay so this should be a little bit nicer plane then hopefully again just her walking <laughs> got a lot of footage of her Cool jet bridge. Now heading to the plane. Yes, you are. Quiet, right, babe. Yes. <laughs> what? You look like a little kid, like going through. <laughs> All excited. I want a horror movie. Where is it? You want a horror movie? Pet Cemetery. Just the movie I would watch on a flight. As you can see, this plane is a lot larger than the previous one and more sophisticated, unlike Jerry's, oh, without a doubt. Sophisticated and luxurious. here's my beautiful wife, Chantal, is stunning as usual. <laughs> Alright, so almost immediately they gave us the... Okay, let me, I gotta bring it back real quick. I was too distracted by his commentary. Let's look at the plane. As you can see, this plane is a lot larger than the previous one and so more sophisticated, unlike Jerry's, three, three, three. without a doubt. It's 
nice that they have the screens. Having screens is a game changer. And you, if you want to see people freak out, have the Wi-Fi in an airplane not work and have their screen not work. It's two things that, I mean, we didn't even have in airplanes that long ago, but people definitely depend on them. So my recommendation is always bring something for you to do that is not relying on the airplane to provide entertainment. You'd be surprised the internet goes down, the screens don't work, something happens and people are left sitting there reading the emergency card in the backseat pocket. So <laughs> always bring something to do, like bring a book. I mean, come on. Glad the plane is, a, seems a lot nicer than the previous one, which is to be expected. And here's my beautiful wife, Chantal, is, is as stunning as usual. Pretty comfy actually. All right, so almost immediately they gave us these little snack crackers. Okay. And they were pretty good. Are they drinking and some wine? Cranberry oh, juice. cranberry juice. I was we like... love watching the flight map during the flight. And we had to go over India, which was pretty cool. Geography. So my meal was okay. some Coca-Cola mm. with a water, some kind of hamburger steak hamburger with a delicious steak. gravy mashed potatoes and like a cranberry sauce. Okay, so I was impressed with the pita, but this, I don't love it. It kind of is reminding me of baby food a little bit. It might have tasted good. If you guys didn't know, I always talk about this and I've, I've talked about this in other videos. Airplane food has so much sodium in it and that's why you start feeling puffy in the air and people don't feel as good after eating airplane food because our taste buds get desensitized the higher up we are. So that's why I put a lot of salt in the food to try to compensate for the lack of taste that we have and so you can actually taste something. I'm not sure if the average person knows that but it's also why the wine on an aircraft if you are drinking a wine that you like in the air try buying that same glass of wine and drinking it when you are down on the ground because you might be surprised at how different the wine actually tastes because of the altitude causing our taste buds to change. Usually wines on an aircraft are going to be stronger and more bold tasting so people can get a little more taste from them. Nah, fun fact. Her, the meal just looks like a bunch of um, salty. Ugh, I don't know. It doesn't look that good, I'll be honest. But dessert. Did she say it was good? And this was Salah's meal of chicken, rice. That and he looks a little bit better. I think the rice looks a little bit better than that glop of mashed potatoes. The veggies, that's a little weird, but I guess, I mean, they're they're serving veggies, so that's good. Um, what is that other thing? Like pudding? What is that? Did she say? I said it was quite I'm delicious. too much coffee and after dinner of course we have some cookies and some nice fresh hot coffee so we have like four hours or so left i'm on my second movie so while we did book our seats together the extra seat in the row nobody was sitting there so we used it for the extra best room. feeling when no one's sitting it's next just, to you on a, you know, a long flight or any flight for, and for that matter like get some pillows in the but middle a little biscuit and, and see, coffee going the center tray, which, nice of course because mine doesn't come so they're definitely getting a full full service on the plane all the way down because of my size but it's okay the tray was fine and we still got to hold hands for most of the flight so and more food. Okay, more food. <laughs> they gave us this sandwich, like a breakfast kind of sandwich. It had beef and egg. Actually, and that a doesn't look too pastry. bad. And Salah thought it, it was really flaky. delicious. I actually did think it was pretty savory and tasty as well. We discovered that you like can that. also play games on the entertainment unit on the plane. So I had some fun playing Monopoly. I played for a Monopoly's like a good, cool though. I have not uh, seen Monopoly. A good hour. That would keep fun. you. That would definitely keep you busy for a while, playing Monopoly. So the okay, they flew overnight then. There it is. I'm so excited for my own trip. And we made it. <laughs> she looks tired. Yes. You look exhausted, babe. <laughs> Very. We still have to get our luggage, SIM cards, and taxi to our hotel. Yes. It's okay. Piece of That's cake. It's the travel life. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the humidity. Yeah, it's... That's okay. what it's our windows here window window look like right now, too. At all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, we get it. <laughs> Oh, it's 
pretty. And here we are in uh, Bangkok, Thailand airport. Now going to uh, take our baggage. Wait, and then... there's not much left. Are we not going to see them like actually? <laughs> Hotel for a shower in Thailand. <laughs> Inshallah. We have to check for our luggage. Which conveyor belt is going to be on? There's a million. If um, you didn't yeah, know, so they do we're just post gonna get wait for our luggage. And they will come on. She was looking at the board where it tells you. This airport is huge. That's like the only observation that they've had of each airport there. And this airport is huge. This airport is huge. Like, it's an airport. It's an international airport. They're going to be larger. I mean, what do you expect? Um, and I'm super <laughs> full because they gave us, like, if you fly with Qatar Airways, they're going to feed you every two hours. That's going to be any international flight, really. There are quite a bit of food services on there, snack services, drink services. So I don't think people are really going hungry nowadays on a flight. Whether or not the food is good is a whole other thing. That's pretty common, not just Qatar. <laughs> I know you can say no, but it's really hard. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm very hot and tired of this whole day of traveling. It's a long day. And walking around so much. So, but you've been but sitting for like I'm seven right hours. So far. Doesn't it feel good to like get up and move around? I don't know any Thai. Like, the only Thai I know, know is like Sawadee My makeup, oh my gosh. I need to get to the hotel and have the coldest shower. I swear. <laughs> I'm so sweaty and gross. <laughs> I feel like if you're going to Thailand, you just need to expect that you're going to be a sweaty. There is nothing better than a nice hot shower after a long fall flight, though. Ugh. It's just kind of making me nervous because it's been a minute since I have traveled over 10 hours to get to a destination. Me going to Bangkok, I have to go from Florida to Minneapolis and then South Korea. And then from South Korea, it's still like a six hour flight. I guess, or something like that to Bangkok. So oh, it's going to be long. It's going to be so long. So this is literally, I'm, I'm going to vlog. And so this is literally going to be me. I hope not. But that shower after, oh, that's the best shower ever. Oh, even when you're exhausted, like you need to force yourself to take that shower and get that airplane ick off of you. One of the first things you want to do when you get to Thailand is get a SIM card. So there's all these stalls surrounding the entire airport. Very competitive. So uh, we are currently going to be getting some SIM cards. Preferably with unlimited internet from somewhere. <laughs> I was almost begging. <laughs> Here's I wonder what time it is. I was she posted times. Oh my god, I'm so excited for my trip. She's known for these long driving montages. There they are. They do look both times. That's gorgeous. Mosque in Bangkok. We're currently in a traffic jam. Like one hour and a half to reach the hotel from the airport to hotel. That is a waste, yeah. especially when you're tired. But so exhausted. Yeah, me too. But worth it. Yeah, it's <laughs> always worth it. We're gonna eat a million it pounds of pad thai while we're here. I did she just say she's gonna eat a million pounds of pad thai? Oh my god, I'm so excited for pad thai. Oh my god, you guys, I'm so this is why I wanted to watch this video. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, um, I I'm so excited that I forgot what they just said. Worth it. I once went to Tokyo for 26 hours and it was completely worth it. I've also flown to Hawaii for less than 24 hours and flown back and sat on the beach all day and that was also 100% worth it. It's always worth it. The trip is always worth it usually if you make the most of it. I went to Hong Kong for 48 hours. It was a pretty good time. It, I was very tired for that trip, but I got to see things that I never thought I'd see. So if you're a travel lover, the trip is always worth it. In Thailand, you will see these little motorcycles everywhere. They're very common method of transportation Why is she, here. That? It's a very common method. <laughs> okay. Oh, at least we're getting it. She's not one to usually, you know, give us any facts about where she's at, so I, I'll take it. Oh, I'm 
me too dizzy. I I'm like trying to focus on so it. So we're gonna end the vlog here, but we were so tired when we got back to the hotel. We picked up some local halal Thai food here, some chicken satay. Oh my God, that looks so good. And we have some uh, spicy sauce, some shrimp. Oh, I'm so excited and for the food. Rice. It was very delicious. And we have some fried fish and rice. So this I is just the beginning of the journey, guys. Took us a while to get here, so we're kind of tired. So we're just going to eat, and we're just going to rest up, and then we're going oh, to do man. all of the things. This is making me rethink. Like, they just keep talking about how tired they are and need to rest. I might need to give myself an extra day to adjust because I was planning on just starting some tours, and then I have a big tour in a group that I'm joining that is in collaboration with Intrepid Travel and the Thailand Tourism Board. I might need to like take a day to rest because it is so it's such a long journey and it is 13 hours ahead of where I'm at now. So that is a big change. So stay tuned for a lot more vlogs oh my God, coming your food. way. Thanks for watching guys. All right guys see oh you soon God. and goodbye. <laughs> I want more Thailand. Okay. I guess the vlog is called Couple Travels to Bangkok. It's not the actual destination, but this makes me so excited. I, okay. So I said I probably would never review another Chantal video, Foodie Beauty video, but I might have to if she's putting out more Bangkok or Thailand vlogs because I'm literally around the corner for my trip and I'm so excited and I'm being selfish and want to watch these and uh make you guys watch these too again I'm purely interested in the travel when I'm doing my reactions to the video her video is going to be linked down below their couples channel and it is on you if you go into a deep dive into who Chantel is in the whole girl world community good luck with that it's a different world You've been warned. I look forward to seeing more Thailand videos. I have a Disney vlog that is going to be up soon. Um, some more Disney type content. So be on the lookout for that. And thank you so much for sitting and humoring me and watching Chantal and her husband travel. It's mostly excitement for my own trip to Thailand. It's definitely a selfish reaction video. So go ahead and give me two hands up emoji in the comment section below if Thailand is on your bucket list. And I I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!